Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Maria and on my channel I create videos around everything nursing. I also have a handful of lifestyle content. Also make sure you subscribe to my channel. I am trying to get to 10,000 subscribers and also make sure you give this video a like. Not only does it help with the growth of my channel, it also tells YouTube that you guys would like to see more videos like this. As always, this video is in partnership with www.nursingpersonalstatement.co.uk so make sure you check that website if you haven't done so already. I'm going to be sharing about four or five things that, you know, if this is you, then nursing school is basically not for you. If you're not a people's person, then nursing is not for you. And I don't mean people's person in terms of you step into the room and everyone's like, hey Maria, or you know, you step into a party and you know, you're the first one on the dance floor. I'm not talking about that. But if you literally cannot talk to people, then nursing is not for you. I've actually heard of some people saying that, oh, you know, when I finish nursing school, when I work, I'm gonna go straight to ICU because I don't have to talk to patients. <laughs> and it's like, how does that make sense? Because yeah, fair enough, you know, most of the patients in the ICU don't talk because a lot of them, you know, are heavily sedated. But it's like, are you not gonna have to talk to their husband, their wife? Are you not gonna have to talk to their family members? Are you not gonna have to talk to like other members of the team who are also helping to care for the patient? If you can't talk to people, if you can't hold a conversation down, if you can't get your point across, you know, effectively without sounding, I don't know, just without being like rude or nasty about it, then then nursing is, is really not for you. I do wanna say that a lot of the points that I'm mentioning, obviously you don't have to start nursing school having 100% of these points, because a lot of them you will learn to develop. If you are generally a shy person, then trust me, you know, nursing school will honestly bring it out of you if you've got it in you. And if you don't have it in you, then you know, you, you'll find out along the way whether nursing school or career in nursing is still for you. If you cannot take an L, if you can't take a loss, if you can't, you know, just sometimes be the bigger person, then nursing school is not for you. A career in nursing is not for you. I don't even want to say people will try you, but situations will be trying. And if you're the sort of person who always wants to come out like, yes, I'm right, or yes, I've won this conversation, or yes, what I say is final, you will lose. You will actually lose. Like, it's not everything that happens or it's not everything that someone says to you that you have to react to. Sometimes you just have to, it's not even taking the L, it's not even being a bigger person. Sometimes you just have to let it slide, like, like let it go. It doesn't mean, you know, being a market. It doesn't mean, you know, kind of just sitting still and just letting things happen to you and just, you know, basically going with the flow because only dead fish, really, only dead fish constantly go with the flow. In nursing practice, we're always told about prioritizing and prioritizing prioritizing your patient care but you also need to prioritize your energy you also need to preserve your energy yes this may have you know peed you off this may have annoyed you but you know let it go like you don't need to take every single situation up on its head if you can't even act as an advocate for yourself how on earth do you think you're going to be able to act as an advocate for your patients because oftentimes you know some people think oh no it's just the nurses that do that it's just the nurses that do that no Every level, every type of healthcare professional, whether you're registered, whether you're non-registered, whether you're qualified, whether you're non-qualified, whether you're a student, whether you're in a nurse profession, everybody acts as an advocate for their patients. So that is the number, probably the number, the number one thing. And like I said, a lot of these things you will learn and you'll develop if you have it in you, because some people have it in them, but they've just not realized it. If you have it in you, then yes, nursing school, the training, the education, all of that will help bring it out of you. But if you don't have it in you, if it's never been in you, then you will realize that early on. A lot of us do know that the nurse profession in the UK isn't paid very well. That being said, there are some nursing specialities, there are some nurses who have kind of, you know, put relevant things in place, are doing certain things, meaning that they can make a lot of money. I'm aware of some nurses who are making about £800 a shift, you know, in certain specialities, working, you know, certain bank holidays. So yes, nursing can be very lucrative. But if you're just thinking, oh, I just want to be a nurse so I can become one of the lucrative nurses who's making, you know, in excess of like £400, £500 a shift, you will lose every single time because there is, there's so much that you have to sacrifice to get there. And if money is your main goal, then nursing isn't, nursing isn't the best way to get there. I can think of so many professions where you can make so much money as soon as you graduate. So if you want to make a lot of money, go into other professions, start a business. That's how you can make um, you can make money. Nursing in the UK isn't isn't where it's isn't where it's at. It, it actually isn't where it's at. 
So there we have it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then make sure you subscribe to my channel and also make sure you give this video a like. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.